I am Anil Kumar. We are practicing how to solve exponential equations. Here we will apply the strategy of making same base on both the sides. We have two practice questions for you. The first one is 2 over 3 to the power of x equals to 27 over 8 and then the other one is 1 over 4 to the power of x equals to 64. You can pause the video, copy the question, answer and then look into my solution. So here is a quick solution. Well, let's begin with the one on the right hand side. It is 1 over 4 to the power of x. That means I have to write 64 also as with the base of 1 over 4. Uh, anyway, what we know here is 4 to the power of, uh, okay, 4 times 4 is 16 and 16 times 4 is 64. So 4 cube is 64, right? And on the left side, we have 1 over 4 to the power of x. Now, how can I write this as 1 over 4? We could always do it minus 3, right? So it could be 1 over 4 to the power of minus 3, is it okay? So that is how we could do it. So, and further, we know 1 to the power of anything is 1 itself. So I could write this as 1 over 4 to the power of minus 3. So we have 1 over 4 to the power of x equals to 1 over 4 to the power of minus 3. Since the two bases are same, exponents should also be equal. So we get our answer. So that is how you can actually solve. Okay, so let's take this one. It has some fractions involved. Uh, let us see how to do this one now. So on the left side, we have 2 over 3, 2 over 3 to the power of x. We need to find what x is. On the right side, we have 27 and 8. 27 could be written as 3 cube and 8 can be written as 2 cube. Now, we can write this as 3 over 2 whole cube, right? What we really need is 2 over 3. So when you flip this, write this as 2 over 3, then exponent becomes negative. And that gives you the solution that is x should be equal to negative 3. Correct? So that is how actually you can solve such questions. Have a good look at it. And then we'll move on and understand some of the strategies to solve exponential equations. Thank you.